Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's first video. We're going to look at the ACMWF 30 day uh, model for today's first video. It's going to take us into um, May, looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies uh, for the next four weeks. Um, can't show you mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar heights, but you can get a rough idea of what the broad pack will be doing from these temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. So, um, well, the Gary and Met Office, big, off, big uh, thank you to them for uh, supplying us with the uh, charts. And it's just a that day, second video update will be coming up later on this afternoon on the homepage. That will be your regular week second video update. I mean, tonight we've got the uh, latest second update for the May Day Bank Holiday Weekend. We're only just past Easter, but the uh, next Bank Holiday is um, coming into the time frame, or is in the time frame for GFS. So have a look at that tonight. Right, so I'm going to start off with the uh, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well um, for week 17 for 2019, which of course is week one for our forecast period. This taking us from the 22nd to the 28th of, um, of April. So we see we've got a big area of above average temperature anomalies here across northern Europe. Warmest anomalies to average are across parts of Scandinavia and also around the Baltic, uh, where we're six, 6 to 10 degrees above average in one or two places. Most areas coming out 3 to 6 degrees above average across much of central northern uh, Europe. So really warm scene in the north of uh, Europe in the week ahead. Out in the uh, northwest, across the UK, Ireland, down into northern parts of uh, France, western Germany, low countries, we are warmer than average, not as warm as it is further northeast, though. Temperature anomalies between 1 and 3 degrees above average. And then going further south still, we come down to some parts of France, Spain and Portugal, where it's actually a bit cooler than average, as it is over in the southeastern corner of the Med. But in between, the uh, temperature anomalies are still a little bit above average through the central Med. So parts of Italy, uh, one to three degrees above average there. But on either side of the Med, uh, it's actually quite a chilly scene, especially uh, seemingly for Spain and for Portugal. Precipitation anomalies look quite unsettled in the week ahead from the 22nd to 28th of April. Uh, above average precipitation for many parts of Western Europe, some parts of Scotland drive an average, but most of the UK and Ireland are, uh, are above average with rainfall, as is much of France. Going down towards Spain and Portugal, again we see, uh, particularly for Portugal, but also for parts of Spain, above average precipitation there. In the northeast of Europe, it's drier, so uh, large parts of Scandinavia are away from Denmark and southern parts of Norway. Anyway, large parts of Scandinavia are coming out drier uh, than average. I mean, down this eastern side, it also looks rather drier there. The central bowl of the Mediterranean unsettled, especially for northern parts of Italy, going up towards the Alps. Some big, big thunderstorms look like they're going to be kicking off down there. Down into the southeast corner of, uh, of Europe, down towards Greece and Turkey. It does look dry on average there and also up towards the Black Sea. Going on to uh, week two, which is week 18 for this year. This is going to take us from the 29th of April to the 5th of May. Uh, we find that the warmth gets squashed down into the eastern and southeastern side of Europe. So warmer than average, really um, kind of like from Poland eastwards to uh, western Russia, then down to the Black Sea through to Greece, Turkey. Looks uh, warmer than average in that eastern and southeastern corner. Spain is also warming up. So if you're off for a trip to Spain around uh, the May Day Bank holiday weekend, it does look as though uh, things will be turning warmer uh, through there. Rest of the Mediterranean is a relatively mild scene as well, especially for parts of Italy, above average uh, there. But going further north, it's a bit cooler then. So uh, we come up to uh, France and up to uh, UK, Ireland, many parts of Germany, basically means western and then northwestern parts of Europe and also across Scandinavia. And we see that many places are uh, forecast have average temperatures through this end of April into early May period, which obviously is a bit of a cool down compared to what we've got uh, this week. Also looks rather unsettled in the north of Europe for the end of uh, April into beginning of May. So above average precipitation really for many northern parts of Europe, away from the far north of Scandinavia anyway, we see rather above average precipitation from the UK and Ireland in the west over towards the uh, Baltic areas and then 
into the uh, into the Russian border. It's generally uh, above average with precipitation there. Southern Europe looks drier, so it looks very nice through the Med from Spain and Portugal in the west, over to Greece and Turkey in the east, and all areas in between. Drier than average precipitation there. And then through the central areas, uh, basically we just have average uh, temperature, average uh, precipitation uh, through there. So driest in the south, wettest in the north, near normal in between. Moving through to uh, week three, which of course is week 19 for uh, 2019. This is how the temperature anomaly is looking from the 6th through to the 12th of May. So uh, Scandinavia looking uh, a little bit cooler than average, average to cooler than average through there. Um, the south of Europe again looking quite warm, Spain and Portugal above average, much of uh, the Balkans, I mean down to the southeastern corner around Black Sea, uh, we're uh, above average with our temperature anomaly there. In between through the central basin of the Mediterranean, uh, including the holiday islands of the Balearics and Corsica, Sardinia, Malta, uh, those areas are closer to uh, average with their temperatures. And then really through the rest of Europe, it's just very close to average, really. So these central areas coming out with average temperature anomalies, as is the UK and Ireland uh, as well. The signal is weakening now as we go through to uh, week three. So we find that the above average precipitation anomalies are a lot weaker. Still a little bit through parts of the North Sea, particularly so from the UK over towards Denmark. Um, just hints at being a little bit above average still with precipitation here through early May. Uh, maybe hints at being a bit dry and average down across uh, northern parts of uh, Spain, some parts of France. But really, it does look as though the um, signal for precipitation is weakening for this week, the 6th through to the 12th of May. So we probably can't glean too much information there. And then we're into week four. Finally, this is week 20 for the year. It's the 13th to the 19th of May into the second half of the month. Overall, looking quite warm still down across the Met. Looks like it's going to be a relatively warm four weeks ahead, which this week is out of the way anyway. Looks like it'll be relatively warm down in the Mediterranean. And uh, otherwise, again, just lots of white, just lots of lots of near normal or probably no seal. I think most parts of Europe, particularly this northwestern corner, possibly hinting at just shifting onto the milder, warmer side of average to some degree but again it is a very very weak signal that we uh, have there and precipitation wise so again it's very weak signals northern parts of europe and eastern europe no real signal at all what we can say is that in the west it does look rather dry so in northern parts of uh, spain portugal much of france Possibly hinting even for the UK and Ireland, it looks like we just very weak, have a very weak scene, very weakly shifting towards slightly drier than average. So as we go further into May, possibly a few hints that things become warmer and drier. I would have thought primarily from a, a ridge from the Azores high started to become more and more influential as we go deeper into uh, into May. But again, these are very, very weak signals that we're talking about here. So um, I think it certainly looks so starting off relatively cool and unsettled for the next couple of weeks, particularly in northern and western parts of uh, Europe. And then we're probably shifting something a little bit warmer and drier maybe uh, in weeks three and four, going deeper in towards May. Right, doing it all over again uh, next week. Don't forget to come back later on today for uh, our week to 10 day video update. That'll be with you on the homepage later on this afternoon. And then, of course, tonight we're going to have our second update for the May Day Bank Holiday Weekend. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.